I'm Billy. We are here at the G-Shock Sessions East London Brick Lane. I'm standing here with the lovely Smasher. Do you want to say hello to everybody? How's it going? How are you doing? Me or everybody out there? Okay, so we're here at Sessions. Your first time performing here. Yeah. Very excited. You're just explaining to me that you're performing two tracks that feature Mighty Mo. That's right. What are they called? Uh, doing Me and In the Building. Okay. And you also have an EP coming out. When's that releasing? Yes. Second week of August. Uh, it's entitled Set the Record Straight. It's a production EP, all produced by myself, co-produced by my friend Aaron Greenwood. Um, features 20 artists from the UK. A lot of the heavy hitters that you'll know, Wretch Free 2, Maverick Sabre. You might have seen a video we dropped a couple of weeks back called No Sleep. Um, and yeah, features a whole heap of artists. It's going to be coming out the second week of August. How did you make the transition from production to artist? Well, it kind of started from the DJing first. That's kind of how I got into music full stop. Um, I built up a name for myself as a DJ for years on the pirate radio scene and the underground. Um, and then switched over to sort of the spitting. At the time, I, like when I sort of started out, I was in a group called Knights of the Round Table. Um, so I had two other artists, MCs with me at the time. Just started writing raps, you know what I mean? Putting out my own tracks, picking up some traction and whatnot. And I've kind of just gone back more into the production role now. So this is the first time tonight that I'm going to be touching the mic for a hot minute now. So I'm excited and I'm ready to go out there and do my thing. Style wise, there's a mixture, you know, you've got a bit of hip hop, you've got a bit of grime, a bit of drum and bass. Um, that's kind of my whole sort of how I've been raised in music, anyways, like loads of different genres, especially from the DJ side of it. I've always mixed it up, and that's kind of what I put into the production as well. So you're going to get a lot of different styles, a lot of live instrumentation on there as well. Um, here at G-Shot, we like to know what the toughest thing that you feel like you've done in your career as an artist. So can you pluck something out of the memory bank? Um, toughest thing, oh, it's a hard one. I don't know, I've done a lot of tough, tough things, like um, just finding the courage to do what you want to do, do you know what I mean? That's a tough thing in itself sometimes, like trying to motivate yourself to do it and just telling yourself that you can do it. you just got to believe in yourself. I think that's one of the main things with music, like 
especially when you're a producer and you spend a lot of time in a studio and you make something, you want to know how people are going to react to it. And that's kind of how it's been for me with this EP, because it's been like two years in the making. So it's like the anticipation to see what people finally think of it is a big thing for me, you know?